Make in India, a type of Swadeshi movement covering 25 sectors of the economy, was launched by the Government of India on 25 September 2014 to encourage companies to manufacture their products in India and also increase their investment. As per the current policy, 100% foreign direct investment FDI is permitted in all 25 sectors, except for space industry 74%, defence industry 49%, and media of India 26%. Japan and India had also announced a $12 billion Japan India Make in India Special Finance Facility fund to push investment. After the launch, India received investment commitments worth 16.40 lakh rupees crore, $230 billion, and investment inquiries worth 1.5 lakh rupees crore, $21 billion, between September 2014 to February 2016. As a result, India emerged as the top destination globally in 2015 for foreign direct investment FDI, surpassing the USA and China, with $60.1 billion FDI. Several states launched their own Make in India initiatives, such as Vibrant Gujarat, Happening Haryana, and Magnetic Maharashtra. India received US$60 billion FDI in FY 2016-17, combined with other initiatives by the end of 2017, India rose 42 places on Ease of Doing Business Index, 32 places World Economic Forum's Global Competitiveness Index, and 19 notches in the Logistics Performance Index. This initiative converges, synergizes and enables other important government of India schemes, such as Bharatmala, Sigarmala, dedicated freight corridors, industrial corridors, Udan RCS, Bharat Broadband Network, Digital India. The Make in India initiative Make in India was launched on 25 September 2014 with the objective of job creation and skill enhancement in 25 sectors of the economy, and to transform India into a global design and manufacturing hub. Topic. Ease of doing business Topic. India jumped to 100th place out of 190 countries in the World Bank's 2017 Ease of Doing Business Index, from 130th in 2016. In February 2017, the government appointed the United Nations Development Programme and the National Productivity Council to sensitize actual users and get their feedback on various reform measures." As a result, now there is competition among the states of India to improve their current ranking on the Ease of Doing Business Index based on the completion percentage scores on 98-point action plan for business reform under Make in India initiative. Currently Telangana, Haryana, Odisha, Chhattisgarh and West Bengal are top five states C. February 2018. Topic. Ongoing global campaign Topic. The campaign was designed by Whedon plus Kennedy, with the launch of a web portal and release of brochures on the 25 sectors. After foreign equity caps, norms and procedures in various sectors were relaxed, including application of manufacturing application made available online and the validity of licenses was increased to three years. Zero defect zero effect. Slogan was coined by Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, to emphasize on the production mechanism that produces products with no defects with no adverse environmental and ecological effects. Make in India Week. Multi-sectoral industrial event at the MMRDA from 13 February 2016 was attended by 2,500 plus international and 8,000 plus domestic, foreign government delegations from 68 countries and business teams from 72 countries and 17 Indian states also held expos. Event received over 15.2 lakh rupees crore, 210 billion dollars worth of investment commitments and investment inquiries worth 1.5 lakh rupees crore, 21 billion dollars, where Maharashtra led with 8 lakh rupees crore, 110 billion dollars of investments. Previously between September 2014 and November 2015, the government received 1 rupee 
20 lakh crore 17 billion dollars worth of proposals from companies interested in manufacturing electronics in India topic sectors cover at topic make in India focuses on the following 25 sectors of the economy topic automobiles topic General Motors announced an investment of 1 billion dollars to manufacture automobiles in Maharashtra in April 2017 Kia announced that the company would invest over 1.1 billion dollars to build a car manufacturing plant in Anantapur Andhra Pradesh the facility is the company's first manufacturing plant in India. Kia stated that it would hire 3,000 employees for the plant, and it would produce 300,000 cars annually. Construction of the plant began in mid-2017, and is expected to be completed by March 2019. The first vehicles are scheduled to roll off production lines in mid-2019. Kia President Han Wu Park announced that the first model produced at the plant would be an SUV sport utility vehicle specifically designed for the Indian market. Park also added that Kia would invest over $2 billion and create 10,000 jobs in India by 2021. In March 2016, BK Modi Group announced that it is going to set up an electric bus manufacturing plant near Maradabad, Uttar Pradesh. The investment is through a technological tie-up with BYD. In July 2017, SAIC Motor announced that it is going to invest 2,000 crore rupees $300 million to build a car manufacturing plant in Halal, Gujarat. In mid-2017, European automobile major PSA announced that in a partnership with CK Birla Group, it is going to build a car manufacturing plant in Tamil Nadu at the cost of 7,000 crore rupees $1.03 billion. Topic automobile components Topic Hitachi announced an auto component plant in Chennai by 2016 with an increase in their India employees count from 10,000 to 13,000. Topic aviation Topic French drone manufacturer LH Aviation announced a manufacturing plant in India to produce drones. During Magnetic Maharashtra, Convergence 2018, Thirst Aircraft Private Limited signed a MO with GOVT of Maharashtra to build an aeroplane manufacturing plant near Palgar district, roughly 140 kilometers north of Mumbai, with an investment of 35,000 crore rupees, $5.2 billion. Topic biotechnology topic topic chemicals topic topic construction topic in January 2016 Chinese conglomerate Dalian Wanda Group announced that it would construct an industrial residential and tourism city in Haryana at the cost of 68000 crore rupees 10 billion dollars However the project was deadlocked as on the 28th of April 2017 because the company management was resisting a demand by the Haryana state government for a 26% equity share Topic defense manufacturing topic India and Russia have deepened their make in India defense manufacturing cooperation by signing agreements for the construction of naval frigates KA226T twin engine utility helicopters joint venture JV to make 60 in Russia and 140 in India BrahMos cruise missile JV with 50.5% India and 49.5% Russia a defense deal was signed during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Russia in December 2015 which will see the Kamov Ka-226 multi-role helicopter being built in India, was widely seen as the first defense deal to be actually signed under the Make in India campaign. In August 2015, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL began talks with Russia's Irkut Corp to transfer technology of 332 components of the Suhoi Su-30 MKI fighter aircraft under the Make in India program. These components, also called line replacement units LRUs, refer to both critical and non-critical components and fall into four major heads such as radio and radar, electrical and electronic system, mechanical system and instrument system. Lockheed Martin announced in February 2016 its plans to manufacture F-16 in India, although it did not announce any time frame. In February 2017, Lockheed stated that it intended to manufacture the F-16 Block 70 aircraft with a local partner in India. If the Indian Air Force agreed to purchase the aircraft, Boeing announced setting up a factory to assemble fighter planes, either the Apache or Chinook defense helicopter in India, as well as the manufacture of F-A-18 Super Hornet. In May 2018, the Indian Army announced a 50,000 crore rupees $7 billion ammunition production project to be implemented in phases over a 10-year period. Under the project, 11 private firms will manufacture and supply ammunition for the Army's tanks, rockets, air defense system, artillery guns, infantry combat vehicles, grenade launchers and other field weapons. 
The Army noted that the objectives of the program were to cut dependence on foreign imports and to establish an inventory of ammunition that would sufficient to fight a 30-day war. Topic defense exports Topic India confirmed that it will upgrade Myanmar's T-72 tanks, supply DRDO's radars to Armenia, Kamov 226T multi-utility helicopters to Jordan, indigenously developed lightweight torpedoes to Myanmar, previously sold to Sri Lanka and Vietnam, Astra 70km range air-to-air -air missile and 40,000 pieces of a component used in Bofors artillery guns for 322 crore rupees to UAE, and manufacture DRDO weapons weapons in Saudi Arabia by 2018 December 2017 update Topic electronic systems topic With the demand for electronic hardware expected to rise rapidly to $400 billion by 2020, India has the potential to become an electronic manufacturing hub and government is targeting to achieve net zero imports of electronics by 2020. After the launch of this project, 24.8% of smartphones sold in India in the April-June quarter of 2015 were made in India, up from 19.9% the previous quarter. Various companies pledged investment in India to begin manufacturing Foxconn, $5 billion investment over five years in research and development and high-tech semiconductor manufacturing facility in Maharashtra. Huawei, new research and development R&D campus in Bengaluru with an investment of $170 million and telecom hardware manufacturing plant in Chennai. Lenovo, manufacturing of Motorola at Sriparambador near Chennai run by Flextronics. Micromax, three new manufacturing units in Rajasthan, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh with 3 billion rupees $42 million investment. Qualcomm, design in India, program to mentor 10 Indian hardware companies with the potential to come up with innovative solutions and help them reach global scale. Samsung, 10 MSME Samsung Technical Schools and manufacturing of Samsung Z1 in its plant in Noida. Spice Group, 5 billion rupees $70 million mobile phone manufacturing unit in Uttar Pradesh. Vivo Mobile India began manufacturing smartphones at a plant in Greater Noida with 2,200 employees. Wistron, Taiwanese company to start manufacturing of BlackBerry, HTC and Motorola devices at a new factory in Noida, Xiaomi, smartphones to be manufactured at a Foxconn-run facility in Shri City made operational by producing Xiaomi Redmi 2 Prime. HMD Global, Finnish company announced in early 2018 that it will start manufacturing all the parts of Nokia phones in Foxconn-run facility in Chennai. Topic electrical machinery topic topic Food processing topic India is among the largest producers of fruits, vegetables, rice and milk globally with trade surplus in food items export, Arisa Pitha of Odisha, Gushtaba of Kashmir, chicken curry of Punjab, Kakra and Kanvi of Gujarat, bamboo steam fish, Vada and Medhu Vada of Karnataka, Kaja and Inarsa of Bihar, Kebab of Uttar Pradesh and Puran Poli of Maharashtra have been selected as traditional regional food to be promoted in the ongoing campaign. Marine Products Export Development Authority announced the deal to supply shrimp eggs to farmer in India for eventual exports of shrimp from India to other countries. In Odisha Investor Summit, Poseidon Aquatech announced plans to undertake shrimp farming and processing in the state at the cost of 100 crore rupees, 14.7 million dollars. Noodles manufacturer Indo Nissan Foods Limited also announced that it intended to invest additional 50 crore rupees, 7.3 million dollars to expand the existing facility in Odisha. Odisha by 2017. Topic: Exports. Topic: In December 2017, India announced it will shortly announce a new agricultural exports policy to promote Indian and organic foods, enhance compliance of phytosanitary international food safety requirements, development of farm to port and farm to airport cold chain with focus on 25 farm export clusters. Topic. Information technology and business process management Topic. Topic. Leather Topic. Topic. Media and entertainment Topic. Topic. Mining Topic. 
During Odisha Investor Summit, NLC India signed a MO with GOVT, of Odisha to set up a coal mining processing plant at the cost of 7,500 crore rupees $1.1 billion. <inaudible> <inaudible> Oil and gas in April 2018, Saudi Arabian oil giant Aramco signed an initial deal with a consortium of Indian refiners to build a $44 billion refinery and petrochemical project on India's west coast. The project will include a 1.2 million barrels per day BPD refinery, integrated with petrochemical facilities with a total capacity of 18 million tons per year. Topic: <laughs> Pharmaceuticals. Topic. In April 2018, during PM Modi's visit to Sweden, biopharmaceutical firm AstraZeneca said it will invest around 590 crore rupees $90 million in India over the next five years. Topic. Ports and shipping Topic. Topic. Railways Alstom, GE Transportation, the French and American rolling stock manufacturers announced 400 billion rupees $5 billion locomotive manufacturing factories in Madhapura and Marhara in Bihar. Hyperloop One, the American company working to commercialize Hyperloop, signed a framework agreement with GOVT, of Maharashtra to begin the development of the route from Mumbai to Pune, starting with an operational demonstration track. Train 18, India's first engineless train began operating tests in October 2018. It is a semi-high speed train and the first train to be built and designed entirely in India. Topic. Rapid transit Topic. CRRC, the Chinese giant announced in 2016 that it is going to set up a railway equipment plant in Bevo, Haryana in DMIC with an investment of $63.5 million. Topic. Renewable energy Topic. In February 2018, during Uttar Pradesh Investors Summit, Avada Power and Renew Power announced solar projects worth 10,000 crore rupees $1.4 billion and 8,000 crore rupees $1.1 billion each. During Magnetic Maharashtra, Convergence 2018, Renew Power signed a MO with GOVT of Maharashtra and announced a solar projects worth $2.17 billion. In August 2016, NLC India announced that it is going to set up a 500 megawatts solar power plant in Odisha at the cost of 3000 crore rupees, $441 million. Topic: <laughs> Roads and highways. Topic: Topic: Space and astronomy Topic. Topic. Thermal power Topic. In May 2017, the Union Cabinet approved the construction of 10 indigenously built pressurized heavy water reactors PHWRs. The contracts for the reactors worth an estimated 70,000 crore rupees $9.7 billion will be awarded to Indian companies. The construction 10 reactors with a combined nuclear capacity of 7 gigawatts is also expected to create 33,400 direct and indirect jobs. During Odisha Investor Summit, NLC India signed a MO with GOVT, of Odisha to set up a 2,000 megawatts thermal power plant at the cost of 15,000 crore rupees $2.2 billion. Topic. Textiles and garments Topic. Topic. Tourism and hospitality Topic. Topic. Wellness and healthcare Topic. 
International healthcare firm Columbia Asia announced in June 2017 that it will invest over 400 crore rupees, 60 million dollars to set up two new hospitals in India by the end of 2019 as it looks to expand presence in the country. In a Assam Investor Summit, Indo-UK Institute of Health announced that it will set up a medical city in Guwahati at cost of 1600 crore rupees, 231 million dollars. During happening Haryana Summit, Patanjali Group announced that it would set up a healthcare university University and a healthcare center with an investment of 5,000 crore rupees $735 million. In April 2015, Patanjali Ayurved announced that it is going to open 10,000 yoga gym in Haryana to promote wellness, develop positive thinking among youths and immunize them from day-to-day -day ailments. References Topic. See also Topic. Manufacturing Topic. Citations Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Official website